Chat GPT to heard of Chat GPT. To talk about Chat GPT, but Chat GPT. Chat GPT and AI in general has taken over the world in the last year, with people using it to complete tasks without having to put in any effort at all. And these programs are becoming more accessible and more powerful by the day. Which gave me the super original idea of using ChatGPT to make a game, which definitely hasn't been done before. And to make things a little bit more interesting, I'll only give myself 10 minutes to make this game. And with that said, I needed a plan. Now, the first thing I needed to do is find out what game I was going to make. Now, it can't be too ambitious. For example, I can't make the next GTA in 10 minutes. Like, it's taken Rockstar a whole decade, and I don't have a billion dollars lying around. And after giving it much thought, I decided to make a simple platformer. In particular, the Funny Bird game. Now, I was going to make the game on Unity, which uses c -Shop. and whilst I've made a few games using it in the past, I'm by no means a proper game developer. Like, if you were to tell me to make a game without using a tutorial or access to the internet, I will quite literally factory reset, which is why I'll use ChatGPT to write me all the code. So I opened up Unity and created a new project, and to make things more interesting, I decided to make the game in 3D. With all the planning out of the way, let's start the timer. So I started off by creating two scenes, one for the title menu and one for the main level. Foreshadowing, this was too ambitious. By the time I even started on the main level, a minute had already passed. I then used Unity's inbuilt 3D objects to construct a basic scene and used the materials to add colour. Then I added a green cuboid which would act as the pipe. I then proceeded to waste a lot of time messing with the camera and worked on improving the backdrop. And by the time I had done this, four minutes had already passed. Things were not looking good. In order to move the cube boy automatically to the left, it required a C-sharp script. So I entered my prompt into ChatGPT, and to my surprise, it delivered the code with my exact function within seconds. My mind was blown. And after attaching the script to the object, I pressed play, and nothing happened. This caused me to once again factory reset, until I realized that I had to change the script name to match what ChatGPT has generated. And with that done, the code worked perfectly. With less than 20% of the time remaining, I worked on the main aspect of the game, which was the bird. And due to these massive time constraints, the bird had to look like a yellow ball. And after asking ChatGPT once again to write me a script to control the bird, I attached it to the object and it worked perfectly. And finally, with 30 seconds remaining, I duplicated the cuboids. And with that, my 10 minutes were over. Now, finishing the game turned out to be way more difficult than I first imagined. And whilst I'm proud of what I've managed to do in the 10 minutes, this Flappy Birds inspired game is nowhere near finished or even playable. However, this challenge has made me realise just how game changing the use of AI to write scripts is. Now, that's not to say it's an easy copy paste job, as you first need to understand how to use the Unity program and be able to tweak the code if necessary, but it is without a doubt way easier than looking up tutorials and copying code. And maybe with the help of AI, more people will pick up game development as a hobby or a future career.